at this Hanukkah season, we are constantly reminded of our history. We're reminded of the commitments of the Jewish people over so many centuries. And I wanted to share with you a text that has always been very meaningful to me in terms of Hanukkah. It's a text that comes out of the traditions of the land of Israel from a very obscure text and is followed up in the Jerusalem Talmud thereafter. And it talks about the way Hanukkah came to be. We tend to think of Hanukkah as a time when there is a military victory that takes place, where the Maccabees overcome much stronger forces on the other side. And that is certainly a piece of the holiday that one really can't deny. But what's fascinating about what happens to the holiday thereafter in the traditions from the land of Israel is one specific element in the story. What happens is the Maccabees are portrayed as taking their spears and actually beating them together into a menorah. What they've done is they've taken the element that they used to fight and they have rededicated it and turned it into an, an object of worship, something that they use to worship God in the temple. The beauty of that interpretation from my perspective is that Hanukkah, instead of just being simply about military victory, instead of being about um, winning over the other, Hanukkah becomes an opportunity for us to think about how we use our power for good in the world, how we take what could be violent or could be angry or could be difficult, and we turn it and reutilize it for what is sacred and what is peaceful and what is wonderful. So I wish you, as wonderful supporters of the Hebrew Union College, Jewish Institute of Religion, wish you and your family a very bright and wonderful Hanukkah, and I look forward to celebrating many more with you.